So what do you need for painting outdoors? Here's my backpack kit, and in a moment I'll show you exactly what's in it for both pastel and oil. For oil painting, I use a 9x12 Gorilla Painter box, including a tripod, umbrella, brush tube with brushes, a metal container for uh, terpenoid, a roll of paper towels, a pith helmet for protecting my head, and a variety of small tools that fit inside the box. In addition to my brushes, I also use a palette knife for scraping and mixing paint, and also the small razor blade tool to help scrape the palette clean at the end of the session. Here are some of the brushes that I use. These are all hog bristle flats, a variety of sizes all the way from number 2 to number 12. I also like to use some paper towels. Here I've cut a roll of paper towels in half using a bread knife to make a smaller, more compact piece that I can take out into the field. Although my Gorilla Painter box has enough room in the lid for four panels, I sometimes like to carry a wet canvas carrier such as this one. This one's made out of wood. Another product I use sometimes is this one. This is the Art Cocoon, a cardboard carrier for the panel. It also has a lid that protects the surface of the painting when it's uh, being transported from the field. Now let's look at my pastel equipment. I have a Heilman Designs box. This is the backpack size that fits easily in my backpack, along with the aluminum uh, easel attachment, an umbrella, a tripod, also a couple of sheets of foam board that allow me to uh, trap a couple of pieces of uh, pastel paper between them, and also a small Ziploc bag containing a, uh, a small uh, plastic pallet where I can put my working pastels and masking tape. Here's a closer look at my Heilman Design box. You can see it's divided into six partitions with uh, partition for each color family. Here's one of the sheets of foam board. I've attached a piece of contact paper to the surface. What this does is allows me to tape a piece of paper down to the top of it without ripping the surface of the foam board. Uh, you can also use uh, gator foam instead of using plain foam board. That would eliminate the need for the contact paper. It's also a sheet of glassine tape to the top so I can wrap it over the top of the painting to um, protect it in, in transport. Now here are both sheets of foam board. I've sandwiched them together using bulldog clips to hold them as one package. One of the oldest and most trusted pieces of equipment is the French easel. It's very sturdy, very stable in the wind, but it often gives beginners a tough time learning how to set it up. So here I'll give you a quick demonstration on how to set up an easel out in the field. There are a couple of different ways to do it, but this is the way I like it. First, by holding it by the handle. Open up the, uh, the center leg, taking care to extend it to its full length. Then balancing the French easel on your thigh, put one leg on the ground and then extend one of the side legs, making sure that it fits well into its socket. It's important to make sure that, that socket is a good fit. A lot of times people will not get it uh, properly seated. And then extend the third leg. And by the time you've got that all finished, tighten everything up. Make sure that you tighten all the fittings really well. Uh, quite often, uh, if you don't tighten them, you'll find something slip on you. And once you've got it nice and level, you can begin to open up the top. Undo the clamps, undo the little knurled knobs on the side arms, undo the knurled knobs on the bottom tray, on the top bracket, and then holding the top of the top bracket, slide up the bottom tray until you get it to a spot that's uh, good for you. As a tall person, I have to take it right to the top quite often. And once everything's properly tightened, you're all set to paint. Now let's go over this one more time using some close-ups of the different components so you can see how it all fits together. Holding the easel up, extend the middle leg, making sure that you tighten all the little joints and make sure that you've got that extended completely. Now with the easel balanced on your thigh, extend one of the side legs, making sure to really get that leg deep into the socket. Once you've got all the legs down and the easel is level, unclamp the top, undo the knurled knobs, and raise the lid. Now tighten the knobs on the sides. Loosen the bottom tray in the top bracket, and once you've extended it to the right height, tighten all the knobs. Now put your canvas or panel on the bottom shelf, lower the top bracket, tighten all the screws, and start painting. <laughs> 